put these I put these tires on here two weeks ago and I had just got enough time in the day here to get them muddy a little bit I don't think it's too bad out there right now it's dried out I don't know it's probably rained eight or ten inches since I did this so we're gonna take her for a little uh, test drive and way back over there you see Bonnie and uh, Bonnie's gonna be going on to the lift right here and uh, she's gonna get her first oil change since the motor was rebuilt and I've got my Lucas uh, 30 weight here uh, that right there break in oil because she ain't broken in yet and we're going to keep the Zinca going and all that other stuff. So let's take her up and up and down the road here. I got some fresh uh, non-ethanol gas right there in that red can. So let's put that in there and uh, and take her for a little a little romp. I've got about two gallons of gasolina in her. And uh, the other thing was, you remember the brakes were grabbing. So let's see how much gas we're showing. Don't let that tick too long before we go up there and give it a little thump. Okay, that's probably enough. Let's go give the uh, carburetors a little thump. And uh, and make sure the, the needles are seating. A nice 60 degree day. 60 pounds and we'll be going out here in just a minute so let her warm up some uh, it didn't take much ether just a little tiny bit so that's pretty good at 60 degrees and I'm going to uh, am I going to go the whole loop let's go the whole loop might make it who knows well let's take her her uh, first couple of feet here okay you gotta back these little cars off real careful like. She'll start going, there's the brakes. Well, they're not sticking. They would always stick. Now, I did, like I say, disconnect the, the vacuum. It don't matter how. All right, so these tires are no longer virgins. Okay. Let's get her out on the road. Let's try the brakes right here. All right. Yeah, okay. Well, the pedal's real far up and firm. Look at that. I have to drive with my shoes off. My feet are too big. You know what that means. You, don't, you can't wear shoes. That's what that means. Okay, they're not, the brakes aren't sticking. Let's try it again. Yeah, that's a whole lot better. All right, well, let's go for a little ride. Uh, I ain't got long. I got good headlights in this, but that don't mean I want to use them. Sun right in my eyes. All right, let's get, let, me get, let me get through the gears here. Nobody behind me. Well, there's also no rubbing of the tire a little bit. Now this this car only weighs like 2,400 pounds, uh, so it's, it's not that it's heavy. And I feel like the tire size is appropriate, so that's really nice. Okay, let's make the loop then. Pretty green fields. Ought to be rainy enough and sunny enough. behind me. Well, true.
and spread it around too. Now I'm just in third gear on overdrive and that's plenty. Somebody's behind me but they're turning. Well, I'm halfway there now, let's just keep going. I'm not gonna go into fourth gear. We're going about we're going about 40. Let's see, you got a good engine temp, oil pressure. around into the lean to and go get the bottom of okay? Sade? Sade? <laughs> I haven't heard that in a long time. Oh, I can't see my camera with my polarized lenses on. Alright, well, we're on uh, this road here and it's going pretty good. I haven't made a boom yet. This is one of my favorite places to drive around here. It's just down in the valley. There you go. Isn't that cool? You get to see me a little bit. <laughs> Wind noise there, I imagine. All right, well, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's pay attention. All right, I'm going to pull over to the link, so I think I already said that. I'm about three miles away. The brakes are great. The turn signal corrected all five times, I think. That's kind of a rarity. It's, it's pretty dependable, but you gotta, gotta keep looking at it. So let's park her over here and I'll shut her down. Let's see if she runs on. Whoa! Nothing like good, fresh, high octane gas, eh? All right, let's go get the Bonneville. What are they up to down there? <laughs> Looks like they got something big going on. <laughs> They're down there doing something. Well, it's lovely to be on the Garden of the Gulf here on Prince Edward. So I got the, I got everything going. Let's see if we, I got my safety equipment, got my Vest, I got a new fire extinguisher and everything. All right, I don't know how long she'll take to start. I'll see. Will the clock run? The clock is running. <laughs> Woo hoo! She's doing fine. Just enough gas. I'm not going to take her down the road. I just don't feel like I got enough gas. So we're going to just kind of get her, get her real warm just kind of sitting here. All right, brake is off. Let's let her calm down here. Let's get some music on and then we'll get her up on the lift. This one's easy to get on the lift. Hope it don't fall off now that I said that. But you don't have much wiggle room. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know what they're doing down there. I guess they got a tractor that's down. I wish they'd call me and tell me. I'm a pretty good diesel mechanic. Uh, they know that. Alright, let's go out, out here in the field. Yes, yeah, see, I'm getting the big flashing that. Chuck's pulling off. Good. All right. Yeah, that's a little unnervy driving around with that flashing on you. So you gotta make sure the lift is real clear. <laughs> and the brakes are working. Good. That's good. Yeah. Once I get the oil changed, I'll take her out for a little run. Now on this car. Watch your mirrors a little bit. Now, I generally, I'm not going to do it today. Okay. All right. Okay. This car. 
car never runs on. Uh oh, let's not burn that up. Okay. Whew. Uh, on this car, I generally let her drain like half of the day. And uh, I've already done videos on that, not gonna do any more. Uh, Cause we'll get another pint or two out and I wanna get everything out of here I can. So let's see how I did here. Uh, okay. Oof. Well, that's a half acre of car, ain't it? Let's see how it looks over here. Well, I actually didn't do too good. Let me back out. I thought I was a little to the right, so I'll confess to that. Okay, if you don't remember to turn the battery off on this one, then I'm going to have a dead battery. I got her in a little bit more, too. That's a little better. Uh, well, let's see where we are. Yeah, that's very acceptable there. Okay, so that'll be fine. It's a complete wheels completely on the lift. So let's go put the Healy away. Healy's going to go. Let me go check around there, make sure there's no dead mice and maybe sweep that out. So let's turn this battery off. Okay, you're going to love this because she, when she cranks up, when she's warm, man, it's just, it's just, oh, fans on. It's because of the thermostat thing because I've got the switch off. Okay, anyway, uh, make sure we're out of gear. Well, that kind of takes away from the sound I wanted, but smooth. I had to. I guess if I get that red light off. You can hear the alternator kick in because the fan stepped up. Now, that's pretty good, I think, because, you know, gasoline boils at such a lower temperature these days. All right. Got to do some of those windows. It's just hard to get the old saws all out to the barn walls. That seems like a million years ago when I did that. Starting second gear in this car pretty easy. It's geared so low. Well. It's hard to believe this is second gear. It goes. Okay. Yeah, she's just silky smooth when she's on the one. Cranking up. Ooh. She's hard to drive with one hand. She ain't got no rack and pinion. Alright, let's see what we do here. Guess that's all I want to do. None of my business, I guess. Let's get her in here. Got enough room that the Bonneville was here. This will this will sure stay here. See if she runs on this time. Yep, just a little touch. I knew it was gonna do it one time or another. Okay, well anyway, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh we'll uh We'll get on the Bonneville oil change tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. The uh, It'll be at least two days. But uh, anyway, I do what I can when I can. So y'all do what you can and hit that subscribe button. I sure would appreciate it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thanks for spending some time with me. I had a nice bonfire the other night. to be a mess on it. Uh, just thought you'd like to look around the barn. I love my air hose in the back here. That's been that's been nice. Alright, bye bye.